All right, so let's talk about Invincible Season 2, Episode 5. I was really annoyed that they took a break, a long break after just, like, four episodes because I thought that that ruined the momentum that they generated. I still kind of am annoyed, but um, I'm glad to also say that they did deliver on the newest episode. And, uh, yeah, it was very fun, enjoyable, and that was, like, an 8.5, 8.7 out of 10. Highly recommend. So I got some notes I'm going to go over, I guess. Just, like, throwing out my thoughts out there. Um, yeah, so I liked that Mark got to go home with his brother um, because, yeah, I mean, that's that's very wholesome, if you ask me. And I'm really excited to see how, like, the, di- the dynamic in the family changes. And you might see him actually interact with, um, what's his name again? I forgot. I don't think he has a name. But yeah, uh, we might see him actually interact with his brother like by the end of season two or leading into season three. So that'll be quite interesting. And also seeing like um, Debbie as well and how she interacts with him as well. So yeah, that'll be uh, interesting. And that was very wholesome. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I'm, w- I'm wondering what's going on with Donald, but I'm glad that we got the... Um, the closure, like, we got the, the explanation for what's been going on. I thought it was, like, I thought he was cloned or something else. But um, his brain survived, and then it was put into an exoskeleton. So he's basically, like, a cyborg right now. And to be very honest, he should not be angry. Like, he got nothing to be angry about because he gets to live a second time, and then he can decide what you want to do. If you want to keep on working for CSIL or if you want to, like, go anywhere else, like, that's nothing to be, like, too worried about. And you have, like impenetrable skin so you're practically invulnerable um but you know all of that is assuming that CISO <laughs> can't control the android so which he probably can we don't trust CISO so um yeah but I'm glad that Donald is back but uh I'm wondering if he's gonna like turn out to be like a villain um I don't really see a motivation for that though like what's he gonna do like get back at like CISO and be like oh CISO you're the reason this and this and this went down and, and I don't know it just but um or he could be like an anti-hero who works on his own or he's just separate from like everyone else possibly um and yeah can I just say I did not expect Duplicate and Shrink and Ray to actually die like I did not expect any character to die so soon early on in the story because bro it's a superhero show it's a superhero show in the second season. And I know a lot has happened, but like I was still not expecting that. But in a way, unfortunately, I'm happy that it did because I think that this is what sets like superhero shows, just shows in general apart. It's like not knowing what will actually happen next. And the stakes are raised like to a point you can't even like understand because anything could actually happen at any time. So everything is at risk. And this is just like Game of Thrones, and this is what made me like respect Game of Thrones, because very first episode, you were not expecting the guy to get killed. So, and then this just keeps the viewers hooked on for like the duration of the show. So, uh, I'm really excited to see how Rex may or may not survive and get out of his situation, and um, how Mark is gonna react to that as well. But um, yeah, that, that was a crazy episode. That was a crazy plot twist. And, <clears throat> yeah, I really wish this could have been, like, binge dropped because I don't even know how long we waited, but, like I said, the momentum that it generated, I feel like we waited too long. And the, all the episodes for, like, maybe the whole season should have been dropped at once or just part two at least because we've waited for far too long. We need Invincible, bro. We need... And, yeah, finally, the reveal of Thaddeus being a Viltrumite was a little bit surprising because as he was talking, right, he, as he was talking to Alan, in the previous episodes, too, he's, like, been mad suspicious. So as he was talking to Alan, I was, like, noticing, like, why is he wearing all white? Like, this is kind of similar to what the Viltrumites wear. Like, when Nolan was explaining to Grayson, explaining to Mark, like, the, the bad story of the Viltrumites or whatever, like, it's very similar to the attire that they wear. And the beard is the only thing that kind of stands out. But, um, yeah, and then we got the reveal. But I'm glad that he's on the team of, like, Mark. And I also got this part spoiled, but 
now we have the confirmation that Allen has this sort of uh, adaptability power to him. So that's going to come in handy. And um, yeah, I wonder how that's going to like change the power dynamic because him, Mark, and the other guy, Thaddeus, will probably make for like a killer team against the Viltrumites. So uh, that'll be that'll be sick to see. But yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. Like eight point five out of ten. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought about the episode or anything else. Um, like if you want. But yeah, that that was a sick episode. Highly recommend. No, yeah, that's about it. Peace.